everyone, welcome back to Blackjack. I am, uh, uh, there we go. Loud and clear. Good, good, good. Uh, if you see a whole bunch of text in the chat underneath me here, it's because I was having technical issues. I was supposed to get started at 4 p.m. It's 5.16 right now. Everything kept going to shit. And, uh, actually, it's not just with this stream, it's with this game, because I was planning on doing some side quests and leveling and level grinding and all of that stuff. The second I approach the gate, Kagata jumps me for a cutscene, and, yeah, I cannot leave the town without being told that I have lore to deal with. So I can't do anything except progress the plot. We are all here for progressing the plot, aren't we? That's what online streams are for. Might as well. So I, I adjusted my team accordingly. St. Germain's a little behind everyone else. Uh, I kind of forgot how to do some of these things. <laughs> yeah, I know. I say St. Germain is a little behind everyone, and then I put the experience candies into the... That's not the angle I was approaching from. And here you are, lost one. Ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet? Seems a vicious battle might await you. I guess I'm going. That's a no. That's not an I guess. Oh no, I'm already dropping frames. Come now, child. I know you did not choose this burden and it must weigh mightily on you. But you can bear it. You have your friends, your allies, and most importantly, your Pokemon. Now, hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Dialga, ruler of all time. If it is allowed to run wild, time itself will twist and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. Uh, I mean, I'm from the future. Got Ingo running around. You have the aid of its counterpart, Palkia, the ruler of space, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Palkia at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Is it going to make me use Palkia? I gotta see. Oh my god. She's seriously just gonna do this whole thing until I put Palkia in my party. What if I try to go talk to... Oh my god. Oh my god, she's actually gonna make me use Palkia. Hey, Marie. Why is nothing in the pasture? Marie! I've got some bad news. Why am I dropping frames? I... <sighs> okay, Palkia, time to get you up to snuff by throwing gravel at you. Actually, do need to bring one of those. <laughs> uh, heavens to Betsy. Let's see here. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, special attack. Yeah, it's just... Wow. Wow, okay. Things are good on my end. I hear you when it's all good. Awesome. Well, that's, that's good to hear, all right. And I imagine it's quite good for you to hear. <laughs> okay, Murph, what are you... Oh, speed, of course. Okay. <laughs> oh, Palkia is incompatible because its stats are too low! I always like to throw HP on him. Uh, Quillfish. Well, I want to improve your HP, of course. I mean, ideally I should have done this before, but I didn't know she was going to require me to take Palkia. What's this game, by the way? I'm playing and getting it this weekend. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Although I did spoil something for you when I was talking. Um, when I said something about my character. Um, but it's like literally the first thing you find out in this game. <laughs> like, literally the first thing that happens is you find this thing out. And then you'll see what I was, what I meant by one of the comments. Uh, let's see. Um... Okay. And who can use some grit rocks? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Defense level 10! Oh, God, why am I dropping frames? Ugh. <sighs> I, I could evolve Jedi, but I can't, I shouldn't yet. Okay. Also, you should know like a lot of Sinnoh lore before you get into this game. Okay, you've said this to me three times already. I don't see any drama dropping, really. Because it says I have over a thousand dropped frames. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you were using that as like a phrase to mean like um, a whole bunch of frames dropping would be drama dropping. Now take Palkia at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Yeah, now I have 1,200. I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. <sighs> Excuse me? Is this the time for shopping? Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Alternately, you might have all the time in the world, depending on what Dialga does. F fair point. All right, Mitsumi. Once you feel ready, set out. Oh, good, good. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Prepare well, then make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. You guys see me freaking out. Although, actually, if you haven't played this game yet, this is, like, super late game. So, you might not want to see the climax of it. What I am going to do, though, is... No. I'm going to see about what I need to do for Jedi to get him all... Well, I say him, but it's a Porygon. Hey, Mercury! Yes, yes, I did. Okay, I want to see it use tackle, and I want to see it use try attack. So I need. Well, first I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna try to. 
get my Porygon up to snuff. <laughs> oh, goodness. Huh, yeah, Mercury, I'm still having some uh, technical issues, as you can tell, with drop frames, but... I had my bird with me a little bit ago, but she decided to try to climb down, and when I tried to pick her up, she bit me on the back of the hand. So, no, oh, bitey birds. Bitey birds do not get to come with me on the summit to Mount Coronet. Unless they're a chatot. I can I can deal with a chat out. <laughs> so what else in the chat for this climactic battle of the gods? Hey there, yay! Yeah, it it. Uh, Kagura wouldn't let me leave town until I put Palkia in my party. And it's just like, but, but I, I don't, I don't really have any experience. Y okay, all right, I guess I don't have any sort of frickin' choice in the matter. Big, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, come on, Jedi, come on. See, I would have liked to have done some of this leveling and all this stuff off screen, but like I said, Kagura wouldn't let me leave town without pushing me into a freaking cutscene and putting Palkia in my party, so. Okay, come on, Murph. You can do this. Mud bomb. No, that wasn't sparkly. Okay. Okay. Come in, come in, come in, come in. I realized something I had said earlier um, uh, isn't true. I had said in a previous one. Um, because Commodore mentioned something about the Celestica people. That's just the people who lived here. I think that's just the first time they're ever referred to in uh, dialogue, though. I had pondered if it was where he had come from, but I suppose not. <laughs> Let's grab some more of these leaks. Can't believe I finally got the 100 leaks quest. I, I just, it feels real good, you know? <laughs> you know, I should probably be using Palkia for some of this stuff. <laughs> just be all, hey, hey, uh, got a space. Can you, uh,. Can you, uh, bash this tree for me? Get some berries. That would really help us. Ah, oh, frick. It's just these things. No, I would... Ah, uh, excuse me. No, I would rather not. I'm doing well in Twitch nonsense and bitey birds. I don't even think it was Twitch nonsense. I think it was XSplit nonsense. Ugh just really weird like it was telling me that it that it couldn't connect to twitch that I wasn't connected to twitch even though I very very clearly was and I could interact with everything twitch was doing I don't even know what I'm doing right now I'm just trying to find stuff to level up on come on Okay, there we go. Now there's like a glitch with Cherim. Like that it can't be caught or something like that. I 
I don't I don't quite understand what the glitch is. Oh golly, energy ball. Everything knows energy ball. Uh, come on, throw a Pokeball. And then there's like a glitch with Cresselia where if you find it oh there we go. If you find it before being given the mission for it, um, it'll potentially soft lock your game. Jen, I fainted from There What? What are you doing here? What in the heck is this? I got something weird going on in the corner of my I don't understand this. Uh, you guys can't even say, see it. But yeah, I had something weird in the corner of my screen and I don't know what it was. Ah, oh, frick. At least I can fast travel. No, no, no. I did not ask you to do that. I asked for this. God, I was watching a review of this game early. Where? Where? This? Oh, don't tell me that. Come on. Uh. Oh, and I also have... Um, I also caught all of the wisps in the town area. Come on, Jenna. Let me let me get something good for you, huh? How are you guys doing today? It's weird because it's displaying that I have zero viewers right now. <laughs> Come on. Come on, yeah, you wanna try me? You wanna try me, Lexio? You wanna give me a go? You give me a go? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, it's this way. Uh, okay, 34, so I only have to use it six more times. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. Look at this place. I want to know more about the people that lived here originally. Like, before the Diamond and Pearl clans. Because, like, it's it's very odd the way the history of this region is presented. Jeez, oh, I'm just dropping frames. Settling down the mud cookie for this video. Nice. Sounds awesome. Jenna, I come on! Didn't I boost your defense? Frickin' seriously? Don't focus too much on viewer count, you're good. Well, it's more of the fact that um, it's displaying that I have no viewers even though I know I do. It's more of like, well, that's freaking weird. Uh, freaking gotta keep going back to camp. Gotta run, run, run. La, 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 la. Okay, what? Who spotted me now? There's nothing in the area. Oh my god. Uh, Camera. Way. Okay. No. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, just discard. If there's only one, just discard the one. Don't make me tell you. <laughs> Okay, come on. It says you have two viewers on my end. Weird. Yeah, it's uh oh here, I can I can show you what it says. Uh once Focus Well so, yeah, right there, viewer zero. <laughs> Focus. this. Come on. Okay, four more times and six more times for tackle. And then I can finally just freaking go ahead and evolve it. <laughs> yeah, for some reason Jedi seems to be especially affected by electric attacks. Which is weird because it's a normal type. It's not weak to anything like that. So I don't know what's going on. Why is it taking almost 100 damage from it? Well, that's two more uses down, so that's good. Maybe I'll check to see if I have any more grit in my bag and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see about raising up some special defense because honestly you know I want to know also why um, why Palkia is a higher level here than it is you know in the in the main games because that that does not make sense that's right I already got all my grid out uh, get you out <laughs> okay. No. I keep messing with the menu and I okay, nobody can use grit dust. Grit what special defense is already six, so Okay, uh... So yeah, I don't get it. That should not be an especially low uh, special defense stat. Might as well, yeah. I've been neglecting to use Weird Ear. I know it's the, you know, fastest mode of land transportation, but... Okay, strong style tackle. It just moons you when it does a style. Sticks his butt way up in the air at you. Have you guys read the Pokedex description for Porygon? It's so funny. It has no discernible heartbeat and does not seem to draw breath, and yet it appears to function without issue. I cannot even begin to explain this utterly bizarre anomaly. Okay, I've used Tackle multiple times. Wait, why isn't that checked off then? Um, and I gotta use try attack four more times. Oh, it's because I have to clear it with the professor, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's why. Yeah. I wish 
you can pick from a few different voices since your character doesn't actually talk, you know? Just makes effort noises and stuff. When I was at KomoriCon, I got to ask um, one of the voice directors, because uh, it was before that this game came out by, you know, a few months. This was in November. I asked um, Erica Mendez, who was the voice director for the um, found footage commercial that showed off um, uh, Hisui and Zoroark. And um, I asked if the photographer was meant to be Ray, and uh, she said no, it's just someone. It wasn't really identified as a character. It would be kind of fun, though. <laughs> okay. Two more. Two more, and then we got an evolution. Well. <laughs> Maybe Pelkis high level here because they got RCS light energy stuff from the space time rift. That would probably make sense. You know, in as much sense as this franchise ever makes. <laughs> Which, admittedly, is not a whole hell of a lot. Let's um let's let's be honest with ourselves. The series is not really big on making sense. What? I keep ducking down. Oh, they're, they haven't respawned, huh? They're supposed to. But even the alpha's not here. Oh, no, there it is. I love that they get experience points for just doing random stuff. You know, I like that. It makes sense. And it also explains, like, in, um, in Galar, when you send them off to do jobs, they get experience points from that, too. I think that, you know, isn't that, isn't that, nice, you know, isn't that? Nice. Okay, good. I am not I am not dealing with the alpha at this moment. Although it's definitely frenzied and running around in circles for some reason. And eh, that'll make it easier to run away from. Names to run away from really fast. <laughs> Considering there's a game featuring a literal apocalypse cult, no, these games do not make sense. <laughs> oh. oh yes, and let's not forget the team that was trying to reestablish the monarchy in New York. New observations, most illuminating. Ah, there we go. Barb barrage, I gotta use 40 times, goodness. What would you like to do now? What I would like to do now is a little something I've been saving. Jedi, it's your lucky day! <laughs> Smooth duck! Now, let's check what this says. Thunderbolt and recover. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Are the teams in Hoenn breaking the water cycle for various reasons? I, w I was reading that that was based on a controversy in Japan about um, a group that wanted to use um, land reclamation that would like take out a lake or something like that. This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. But really, I'm not sure what the point is anymore. I think you could go ask for me. Okay, last time I came in here, I got waylaid by a ninja chef. I see something here. A singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. Molo. Okay, now, as I said, I have seen what may be spoilers. I think Volo may try to take that irreplaceable ball. Oh, I didn't even see this before. Just the girl I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here closer to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Your descendant is the most terrifying person in all of Sinnoh, and I include the guy who tried to unmake the universe in that statement, so, um... Eh. Besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokémon. I got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. check. Okay, good. I still have the ball. <laughs> Someone is going to end up taking it. I don't know if it's going to be him. I don't know if it's Kanoe Kagata. I don't know if it's going to be uh, Komodo again. I... I... I just know it. Someone is going to try to steal that thing from me. You know, it's funny. In Diamond and Pearl, the um, the cave entrance is more like here. Because you don't walk very far up to the spear pillar. Also, have they used the word spear pillar to describe this place at all in this game? Because you'd think they would, since it, would, it, it goes back to... Um, Izanagi, and I can't remember the name of the other god, um, but they, like, stirred a spear into the ocean and brought up land, and yeah, it's, it's all very mystical. <laughs> For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Juvali Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokémon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you showed me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I 
Mitsumi, in all of vast space, your place has found you. What in the world does that mean? It's a pro clan saying. It reminds us that occasions we must rise to are also stages where we may prove ourselves, where we might shine our brightest. Your spear pillars are more recent, even knows they never say it in this game that I know. Mm. So, basically, you're saying not to feel nervous. I'm starting to see the appeal in how you pro clan people think, in some situations anyway. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Mitsumi, protect Hisui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. That's not the first time. I did this a few years ago, too. A heavy ball. Alternate form? That's not the ball that we... Alternate form? I've been spoiled on Palkias, but not Dialgas. It's... it's like a Metagross. And it's got the... it's got the... Mandala on it. <laughs> Time Balm. What do you even make something like that out of? Uh... Previous progress, goodness. I guess this means I have the power to manipulate time and space myself. It's like I don't even really notice that distortion. Speaking of, I know Giratina is in this game. See, now this is how you fight a freaking god. I'm throwing bombs up its butt. So frickin' epic. Oh my goodness. 
You know something I haven't been called upon to do yet? I haven't been called upon to actually get my Pokemon out. Frick. <gasps> Could I even dodge that at all? What the hell? Did I just run into it? I think I just ran into it. Yeah, I think I ran into it, but I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to dodge that attack. There's no... Th there's nothing... there to do so. Why am I back at this stage? I beat this stage. Come on, come on, come on. Frick it. No, 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 no. Yeah, frick, no. I dropped the wrong way. What are time bombs even made of? And I can't check my menu. No, oh, wait, I can. Mysterious bomb that somehow has the power to calm Dialga in its frenzy. It doesn't tell me what they're actually made of, though. What the hell? It's not giving me time to run! Continue battle. Yes, I would like to keep the progress. Why, why would you think I wouldn't? What kind of combat masochist starts the battle over? Okay. I'm gonna focus on dodging. Legendaries are no joke. Yeah, I know, right? Frick! Frick! I dodged the wrong way! Hell, it's not giving me enough time. Again, yeah, of course, it's not giving me enough time. It's probably distorting time so that I don't get enough time. Is this tied in with like my own power? Or is it just a gameplay a mechanic? Like, can I reset the battle? Because of my circumstances. Okay, I literally ran right into that. I need medicine I can use on myself. I 
Fuck it! No! It wouldn't even let me stand up! It wouldn't let me stand up! I don't understand! I mean, I hate to be that everything that's hard is like Dark Souls sort of person, but this is kind of like Dark Souls. And no, I dodged that. I got him right here. Don't smile! You don't know what that is! It could be making things worse! My eyes aren't lying, right? She actually went and caught it? Yes. Oh, good show. What a catch. It, it contained that fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely standing as ever, Mitsumi. Finally. Just what I'd expect of my protege. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. <laughs> Which part? <clears throat> Ow! What gives, commander? Not sure I deserve a sumo throw. <laughs> well, at least it seems this is no dream. <laughs> Listen up, all of you! We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans, this will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan. <laughs> Two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess the times when we'd fight over whose was wrong or right or ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. But this may well be the best path towards protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate! For today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. I'm gonna get way late, aren't I? Something's wrong. Or something's right? What? That can't be the ending! The 
Is this seriously the ending? I don't reunite with Arceus? Is it just an extensive post-game that gives me everything then? Yeah, it's got to be an extensive post-game. Yeah, we didn't get resolution for a lot of things, so it's they have to have crammed it into the post-game. <laughs> Rizu! Okay, Operation Push Melee down some stairs is still in effect, but I think it's down to just, like, two or three stairs now. Oh god, I completely forgot about her. And him! <laughs> the bright side of this music at least amazing, yeah. I don't trust you either. Human character design, Take. that armor. So the temple just kind of exploded. <laughs> I guess that makes the, the shining sun more dramatic too. You know, I feel good. I feel really good. But at the same time, I also feel like there's a hell of a lot left. <sighs> this kind of feels like if you got the credits for Breath of the Wild after beating the Divine Beasts. You know what I mean? It's a symptom, not a cause. You know what I would have preferred as far as a um as far as a remix. Oh, Tajiri's still an executive producer. But what I would have preferred for as a remix is something like really old timey, you know? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I've heard the post game is huge, I haven't started it myself. Your iPhone is beeping. That's right, I'm still on a mission from Gad. You gotta say it the way the Blues Brothers do. Seek out all Pokemon. Prepare the hell and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more? A new day dawns. Leave your quarters. Requested by... Blank. Shoes go on. <sighs> yeah, it really feels like all I did was just the equivalent of beating the divine beasts instead of, you know, the calamity. <laughs> Morning, Mitsumi! 
So the space-time rift is gone. Then this means we can finally close the book on this whole mess? Well, in any case, there's one book we can't close yet, the Pokedex. Time to get back to our official Survey Corps duty of completing it. We're going to meet in the Survey Corps office to discuss how we'll tackle the work that's left. See you there, Mitsumi. I don't want a mystery claw, jeez. One of your base camps, okay. Oh hey, I've got more uh Oh, a token of gratitude. Medi of the Diamond Clan says she was saved by a mysterious Pokemon many years ago. This nurse story to determine whether there's anything to do in the matter of follow-up. Now is that gratitude. Oh, now is that gratitude. Now is that gratitude. Or is it really love? Some kind of reality that fits just like a glove. Pardon. <laughs> the Darksome Nightmare. Kale of the Pearl Clan is reported seeing a strange Pokemon up in the Coronet Highlands. Speak with the, my fellow in my lab and see if you can catch the Pokemon concerned, okay? You the one who accepted my request? Well then, let's get right to business. There's an old tale that's long been told in the Hisui region about a dark nightmare that visits people on lonely paths at night. I never put any stock in it myself until I saw it. It's a terrifying black Pokemon just like the one in the stories. So the people who are trapped in the nightmares it creates never wake again. I can't wait for someone to fall victim to it. We gotta act before that can happen. I saw it near the Clamberclaw Cliffs, part way up Mount Coronet. And when it was out walking all alone at night. And it was when I was out walking all alone at night. Just like the old stories all say. Be careful if you go in search of it. I wouldn't want you to lose your life over this. Now, does he have a unique sprite? Or a unique model? Here. I caught Dialga. Let's go over everything. Let's see him my go. Let's say you take the Pokemon here in the lab with you on your excursions. <laughs> Splendid! Sure, the chance to help with your survey work would be a delight to any Pokemon, especially one stuck indoors so long like mine. Alright, see Joshua. Oh, oh, it did! It disappeared for a frame. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta use Roar of Time forty times. <laughs> That's all the experience it gives me. It did disappear right as I read right I received it. You're just sick of bird poop on your books, weren't you? So, I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. <laughs> Indeed. That only seems natural given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time I caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Leventon, to business. What is the current state of progress on the Pokedex? Ah, I dare say we've made quite significant progress, all in all. There, we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. Nichols, it is hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in the series Legends. After all, who knows if they're even real? Yeah, we're still relatively new to these parts. How are we to know what's true and what's not? Well, I mean, there are the Diamond and Pearl clans, but there also appears to be what uh, Commodore referred to as the Celestica people, who seem to be the precursors, the ones who built all of these ruins and stuff. Couldn't help but over here. 
If it's the Simian history and legends you want, then I'm your man. I don't trust you. I spent plenty of time studying such things instead of... <clears throat> I mean, well, also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. I've visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. They're all gonna be true, aren't they? Ah, oh, music to my ears, good fella! Listen well, Mitsumi. You are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo and work together as needed, for the sake of the Pokedex. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Understood. I'll set up at the Heights camp, then. Mitsumi, I'll be expecting you. <laughs> Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you, too, so I hope you won't keep me waiting. I guess I put my head down and get to crafting. Can't do our surveys without our tools. I saw the most unbelievable things. Or maybe not saw, maybe more like experienced. Either way, I think I gotta tell the world about what happened to me. I wish the base camps had roofs, then you would feel even safer when visiting them. Andrew Beauregard and I came to Hisui hoping to achieve great things out here. We'll work hard to make our dream come true. I came all the way here from Hoenn. It seems like the land is just getting interesting. Wouldn't things feel safer if there were places all over where you could go for medical care? For people in Pokemon alike, nothing is more important than health. There would certainly be fewer casualties if everyone had a partner Pokemon with them. I can't interact with this woman. She looks at me, but I, there's no option to say anything to her. If Drupal Life gets much bigger, we won't be able to craft items fast enough to keep up with demand. Gotta think of a way to make items more efficiently somehow. Seems we'll have far more people choosing to share their lives with Pokemon from now on. Which means I'll need to churn out plenty of Pokeballs. And you'll need to accept that your granddaughter has her own life. <laughs> the more people that have partner Pokemon, the more people that'll make the battle. You'll see. <laughs> if people in Pokemon start living together, I'm sure some people out there will see there's a great new business opportunity. <laughs> So, I'm dealing with the village of the ultra-capitalists, huh? Yeah, I don't have enough for you. Alright, there's a Pokemon called Bonsly. I feel an urge to get to know one. Does he want me to actually bring him one? Um... Even if we caught all the Pokemon in Hisui, there would be plenty of Pokemon elsewhere in the world, no? Oh. Hey, Mitsumi, check out this photo of the space-time rift. Yeah, it's the photo Professor Leventon took to try and document what's happening. He's going on about how a bunch of universes were overlapping and generating some type of power overflow. It went right over my head, basically. Might as well have been Babel. But the photo kind of tickled my creative side, so I borrowed it thinking I could maybe make a painting out of it. And since you saw the rift right up close, I wanted to ask you, what did you think of it? Hmm, I get that. It must be chilling facing power like that up close. Alright, that gives me something to start with. <sighs> this won't be some neat, clean blu building blueprint like I usually deal in, though. This is going to be a work of unbridled emotion. And that's that done! Does he tell me what it was like falling out of that rift? It basically painted itself. 
I'm thinking it'll be untitled. People can feel what they want from it. No need to force it into words. Yeah, it's a thing. All that terror and unease about the rift must still be fresh in everyone's minds. I think I'd better give people some time to cool off before I go hanging this up somewhere. Our collective memory of the space-time rift will fade in time, no doubt. Now my painting is able to inspire the people of the future somehow, even if they don't know anything about the events behind the painting. I'll entrust it to the commander for safekeeping. Thanks for the help, Mitsumi. Is it something I've seen before? Because I can't think of anything. How does it feel to have caught a Pokemon revered by some as a deity? They still can't say God, or... I wonder how Hisui will change his weird people and Pokemon intermingle. <sighs> Pokemon are terribly frightening creatures, and yet... There are moments when I can look upon one and find something to love there. Well, it's rather creepy sky, so now I can say nothing will ever faze me. <laughs> hmm, I suppose there is no end to the study of Pokemon, even if the Pokedex is complete. Okay, where where's the picture? This is the only picture I can see. Uh. Is she going to be able to make the mural in the church in Heart Home? Oh, that's a good question. I'm hearing wild Pokemon. At least I think it might be from the ranch. Everyone keeps saying ranch and it's just like, don't do that to me, you know? Don't make me, don't make me miss Haley. Cause I miss Haley. I miss Haley, okay? I miss Haley. I miss my Pokemon Ranch. The kid down one of these hallways. Yeah. I don't think he ever really says any important. He's the kid with the drift loom. You! You! I did what I came to do here in Hisui. Now I suppose it's time for me to head someplace with a more agreeable climate. What? What you came to do? Buy a few of those. Hey, Rizu. I don't really need a haircut today. Oh, you don't have any new styles? Oh, darn. I was kind of hoping that there would be, like, a style based around, like, Dialga and Palkia and stuff. Are you actually going to sell me anything? Oh, I have? I have looked into Octillery for her? Oh my, so that's how it is. <sighs> Wait, hold on. Are you quite sure? Goodness, to think that Remory evolves in Octillery despite them looking nothing alike. You're enough to hoe and Benny good riddance. <laughs> More importantly, it seems Octillery isn't poisonous, so its ink must be safe to eat after all. I can't wait to gather up some ink and try creating lots of innovative new recipes. Once my new pickles are well and truly perfected, pop by for a taste, won't you, dear? Hmm. Rely on secret ninjas, potato mochi, or eat pickled ink. 
I am weighing my options. I, I, I just feel like I, um, like there's so much I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Why are we meeting over here? Oh, Zumi, there you are. Have a look here, if you will. A good, long, close look, please. See, there's patterns, modern, model after Pokemon. I was trying to think they would be letters, rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. Inspected ruins across the region have concluded they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of a brave soul, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe. Its name is... Arceus. Perhaps you've already heard this name. Of course, what else could have I expected from the hero who saved the Sui region? But now let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. It's the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed that they all have words carved on their backs? Come on, give them a read. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Mitsumi? I think we should try to gather all the plates. His foot twitched. And I've got just the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. Okay. Well, I might as well pick up these while I'm at it. Well, actually, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Ride a Pokemon and smash through balloons. Ride, 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 and burst them all. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. How about a kid want to play? Sure. Oh, 30 balloons on the course. Let's see how many of them you can burst in 45 seconds. Now get out there and get bursting. Oh well. Ah, <laughs> oh, come back! You burst 21 balloons! Not bad, not bad at all. For someone so skilled, I'll offer this as a reward. Okay. I know where Dazzling Honey is. There we go! Balloon race in the field lands. Yay! There you go. Suckers, I was once like you. Hmm. Oh, I'm coming up on it, huh? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, you can go. <sighs> oh, really? Something's really approaching me, huh? did. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Oh, there it is. And then I'll set that for there. Uh, of course you did. If I just keep running, it'll be... The frickin' no, no. Whoop, 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 squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, golly, who's trying to- Ah, you! Excuse me? I definitely called out Chimborazo. Frick it. Infernal Parade, come on. Yeah, let's try that, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's see it. Let's see it. Here we go. This is my least favorite of the ride Pokemon. It's it's just not structured very well. Um, the way it goes just doesn't feel good at all. And look at this. To land, you have to do a nosedive into the ground. Hmm. <laughs> I think I know what happened with that. No, no, I frickin' lost and found. Okay, come in. Leap. Let's grab some VV chokes over here. <laughs> what? I was right next to the tree. Okay, Volo, let's see what you want. And of course, we've got to find out more about Kagata as well. <laughs> I like bravery more if you didn't keep flying to mountainside. Now, Mitsumi, according to my own investigations. <laughs> what? An Alpha Vespaquin? <laughs> Terribly sorry, Mitsumi. Do you think you could handle it? What happened to all that power you said you had? Don't you stick your thorax out at me, young lady.
You, you know what this quillfish reminds me of? In the face and everything. Ugh, jeez, okay. Especially with the, with the things around the eyes and the big lips. Um... You ever watch Dragon Ball Z? You remember Dodoria? That's what it reminds me of. Essence of rock. <laughs> the essence of rock. <laughs> oh, people have spent the last sixty years debating the essence of rock. <laughs> never watched DPC, but I know what you're saying, and I can't unsee it now. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find a plate lying around. In any case, that's the only other plate I had information about, so that's that. Yet, nothing seems to be happening. Which makes me suspect there must still be more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about the plates. Yeah, we know. Your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, the one and only Mistress Kagata, yes. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for her help in obtaining the red chain, am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. The essence of rock from bug type that's not shuckle. <laughs> or from something that isn't um Toxel? Is that, that that's what it's called, or uh no, not Toxel. Uh Toxel's the baby one. Um the one that plays its own chest like a guitar and it's an electric type it's like electric poison or something so onward to the ancient retreat okay alright okay oh, oh frick toxtricity yeah <laughs> yeah. I have one on my Galar team, and I still can't remember the name. Ah, oh, sweet. Check that action out, yeah. And I've been out to that island before, and there's kind of nothing there. I kind of expected there to be like a wisp or something, but there's not. Goodness, well, we've got the intimidating field music back. Not here, huh? Yeah, he's just playing not here. What? Come on. I am in front of the bed. Thank you. Uh. Oh. <sighs> you must be Mitsumi, right? Hello, I heard about you from Mai. Thank you for taking on my request. I'll get right to the point. 
Once, when I was little, I got lost here in the obsidian field lands. So I regard in tears when I stumbled across a field of beautiful flowers. That's where I met it, a Pokemon I'd never seen before. It gave me a flower, then set off walking as if to guide me somewhere, so I followed it. And it led me back to a place I recognized. Thanks to that Pokemon, I made it home safely. But I never got to properly thank it. I'd like to find it again and tell it how grateful I am. The only problem is I haven't been able to find that field of flowers. So I'd like you to help me. This is the only clue I've got. So I'm looking for pink flowers, huh? A flower is sometimes bundled in bouquets to convey gratitude on special occasions, such as birthdays or anniversaries. It's called your city a flower. It's the same flower as the one that Pokemon gave me. Please find the field of city of flowers here in the obsidian field lands for me. Okay. Well, there's two places it could be. It could be the field of dead flowers over here. Actually, I think that's bound to be it. That's gotta be it, especially given the uh, history of Floroma Town. And, you know, the name of the place and all that. I saw a video that started off with something, like, it, I only watched the first couple seconds because I wanted to experience it for myself, but it said that something funny would happen if you did a braviary nosedive into the field of flowers, or at least that's how the video displayed it, was the person starting with a braviary nosedive into the field of flowers. This seems to be the flower field Medi has been looking for. Is this the field from back then? And these flowers may be withered, but I remember these surroundings exactly. This has to be the place. Excuse me! Can you hear me, kind Pokemon? A long time ago, I got lost out here and you guided me back. I don't know if I'd have made it home without you, so I just came to say... Thank you so much! <sighs> the flowers! Oh my god, they're all different colors, too! <gasps> Thank you so very much, Mitsumi. I'll make sure to thank Mai for pointing me towards you as well. I'm supposed to be staying here to study that Pokemon. Well, good luck with your work. Take care. Catch Shaman in the field of Grisidia flowers. Come with me? Come with me, sweetie? Oh, of course. Uh oh. That's you, isn't it? Oop. 
where'd you go? I don't know if it disappeared or if it's playing hide and seek. Because it went off this way, and I'm not seeing another way to it, you know? Freaking Whirlpools. Doesn't look like the sprites, uh, the, the, the depiction on the map has changed at all. I just like approach it. Okay, well, it's just telling me to be here. I can come back to this. I just wanted that, okay? Is it, you know, it's, is, it, is it a pity that I want to pick stuff up off the ground? I love this music. <sighs> okay, well, let's head back. Oh, wow. <laughs> Three alphas. Nice. Oh, well, he's made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Oh, that's illuminating. Commands its subjects to build its hive. It will dispatch any interlopers who dare sneak into its nest and use them as nourishment for itself. It just you can't just say it'll eat us. he ever gets tired of just standing around. This is still showing the old version of the town. It didn't update with... Oh, hello. Uh, I've come up with the perfect pickle recipe thanks to Geodude. Aren't you curious? Are you pickling stones? Tell you what, my dear. Help me gather the ingredients and I'll teach you the recipe. You need two hunks of crunchy salt, two pods of plump beans, and two bunches of king's leaf. Okay. That doesn't sound bad. Crunchy salt, plump beans, king's leaf. Okay. All right. Now let's see what you got. Dude. 
Let's get pickly. Let's get cooking. Lovely, I already have the sand radishes I need, so let's get pickling. Ding! Now for the final step. All we need to do is place Geodude on top of the pot, and it's done. What in the world? Oh god, it's evolving. It, it should be breaking the pots! Gosh! Geodude changed shape! Is this that evolution business I've heard people talk about? And what about the pickles? Mm, oh my, it's twice as good as I expected. I'll call it the twice spiced radish. It truly is the perfect pickle dish. With the help of a Pokemon, there's no limits to what a cook can accomplish. Thank you so much for helping me out. Ha! Uh, it's been like 30 seconds. I. D pickles. Pickles take a while. Seriously, they take a while. No, I don't want the mystery claw. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna wait till morning. I am going to get a frickin' nap in. Why do I not get a change, like a, a workbench here? I really should have a workbench. Because as it is, the only place where I can do, you know, workbench stuff with full access to my items. Wait, am I stuck on this mission now? Oh. Is this the first time we're ever given a a location for the retreat? Uh, for, okay, alright, my microphone fell. Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? One, two, one, two, one, two. My microphone fell. It, uh... I'm dropping more frames. One, two, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? One, two, one, two. I can hear. Okay, good. I thought this a while ago before I realized only wardens can give you ride Pokemon. How cool would it be if Silene had a braviary on that bird perch thing of hers and she was the one who gave it to you? <laughs> can you imagine the massive shits that thing would take, though, right in the office? I just... I know, I don't mean to be gross, but I do have birds, so... Oh, I guess I can make things here, but yeah. Oh, lost one, it's miraculous what you've done. It seems the red chain served its purpose well. And you carried out your duties. You were bid. When did you get here? What brings you here? Have you yet need of me? Ah, uh, yes. A tale whose origins lie a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people, for whom I had descended across many generations. Those forebearers of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisui region. And I have heard of certain fragments, plates as they're called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleaver and Weirdeer. Is that all? I thought you could surely tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I have nothing new to tell you. Why, the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the creator Arceus had anything concrete been passed down. If only we had more to go on. 
The answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Mitsumi here fall from the sky. Ah, I see what you intend. Very well. I'll help as best I can. There are still other tremendous Pokémon in Hisui. Other mysteries to be solved. Whether they connect to Tarsus, I cannot say for certain. But in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are the Pokémon of the lakes, of course. And the Temple Giant. The Crescent Moon, the Volcano. Perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of? Indeed. Beginning for you, certainly. Why was it you first fell to Earth here? Now then, what would you hear of? Yes. Them, you already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Well, make for the Coronet Highlands for now. Or that be, but Fire Spit Island. Well, that would that would be very unusual, though, because I'm pretty sure Fire Spit Island is supposed to be where the uh, Elite Four are, you know, in the present day. It's I don't think it's supposed to be Stark Mountain at all, but then again, uh, it's basically so that a volcano erupts and that births new heat ran. Secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. What would you hear of? Done with your questions, are you? No, not really. <laughs> Very well, lost one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokémon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed. For your own sake, and for that of the Pokédex you labor on. I knew we could rely on you, Mistress Kagata. It's more than enough information to work with. Now let's, let us find these plates. I'm continuing to drop frames like crazy. How did you get outside before me? It's just as I suspected. Pokemon are the key to our search, Mitsumi. We can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the backs of the plates. At last, perhaps we could meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokemon that Kagana mentioned, Mitsumi. I have my own avenues of research that I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisui. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. Why is th why can I only go places from Jubilife? Why can't I go from area to area? I've had a message from Mistress Kagata. I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort with the merchant Volo. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. I can walk with you. It, like... Hearing all kinds of fun sounds. Oh, hello. What 
Where did Pokemon come from? I don't freaking know. That strangeness in the sky helped bring the two clans in the galaxy team closer together. Every cloud, as they say. How did you change into your armor in this short amount of time? You get to bed of the game. Hope you get shaven eventually. D stay with me at least till the end of this scene, and then I can, like, cut. Prolard Beach. Indeed a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. Okay. I mean, I already kind of trounced you. Does he st still stumble when he... Yes, he, he does. <laughs> yeah, I need to make dinner soon, too. So... Yeah, that was a fire punch, but that was like a trounce. Full restore. Okay. So is the boring battle music, I say. <laughs> I know he needs his own battle music. I mean, this is a pretty good remix, but he really needs unique music. Oh, frick. Oh wait, no, I shouldn't send Jenna either. <sighs> Poison's not really gonna do much. Oh well, it did enough. <laughs> oh crap. Ha! You have another full restore? Is that what you're gonna do? A key. Alright. If a gamped up remix of Ruins theme might have been interesting. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah, just try it. Just try it. Oh, frick, look at that. <laughs> Bulldoze, goodness. No fire type. Okay, well, yeah, let's try Infernal Parade. Because why not? Is there anything like the Black Parade? You know, ju just wondering. Strong style, high horsepower. I love how it shows a horseshoe. It's just so funny. You don't have anything from your previous team, do you? Oh, waterfalls. Crap. Oh, shoot. You know what I realized? This thing is gonna be strong against Palkia. But you know what? Here. Let's send Jedi out. Let's try Thunder Wave. Da, 
da, da, na, na. <laughs> da, 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 da. La 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 Okay. Come on. Kapow, kapow, kapow. Each one stronger than the last. Okay, now you braviary. Frickin' Esper Wing. I was talking about that last time. Twice in a row! Frickin' twice in a row! Frickin' cheater. Okay, well, fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want, uh, you want to have a battle? You're dealing with the literal god here. That's what you brought on yourself. Frick it. Hmm. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. <laughs> Fuck you, Seal, when they get experience. <clears throat> We've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear that you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Oh, stop. You're flattering me. Here, you should have this. Fist plate? Okay. Imbued with the essence of the fighting spirit. It's not just the essence of fight. <laughs> In the very first of our galaxy expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, and so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adaman, Irida, it appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. <laughs> it might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. <laughs> I know I've no right to say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Corps' ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokemon of this region will so serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Based on cognitive sense, it seems there might be four more plates left for you to find. Were you turning away from the battle the whole time? He healed my Pokemon for me, it looks like. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here and we'll see who we can raid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see something as far as who all is streaming. Oh. <laughs> well, um, one of the people who was here earlier is streaming right now. Amiobia, or however the hell you say her name. So, uh, let's go raid her. Uh, I can never remember how to spell it. Let me, uh... A-M-E-O... Amiobia. There we go. 
Let's get started to raid her. She's playing Final Fantasy XIV. So, for right now, um, I want to say thank you. And, uh, see you later.